What's good, Craig Gang? We're out here. Me and Adam, of course. He's wielding a knife right now, cutting some grass. Human weed eater. But we're actually out here doing one of the most requested videos, except for Kill Bucky, which may or may not happen. But today we're doing a catfish catch and cook, with Mammy included. We're gonna be doing it right here in this pond. Oh, wow. Like, this water's super clear. You see that right there? That orange thing? That's actually a clay pigeon, because my cousin was shooting over there, sling him over here, and you know, well... He missed that one. And like I said like a month ago in like one of the mail time things, we're actually going to be using some of the stuff y'all sent in. We're using these hooks when y'all sent in, this catfish bait when y'all sent in, and actually the sinker too. So we're like using all of it. Except the rod, of course. That's fine. But here is the rig and we'll start skitting it ready. So basically all we're going to do is, one, we have an egg sinker. We're just going to make a basic bottom rig, stick the egg sinker through, then just stick one of these little eagle claw circle hooks on, and then just bait it with the catfish bait. Throw it out, set it on the bottom, wait till something about drags the pole in the water, then we're going to swarp on it. Adam, you know a lot about swarping on stuff? Yeah, I never catch anything. Maybe that'll change today. Maybe. Remember that time I had two bites of it at one point? Evan didn't have the hook tied on right. Evan's not a good fisherman. Shots fired. Okay, and so like the flavor right here is strawberry, but me and Adam's done decided like they don't they don't smell like strawberry or taste like strawberry. What you reckon about it? Ugh. It's got some kind of berry flavor in there. Something, something berry flavor, but it sure don't smell like berries though. <laughs> Sniff it again. See if you can smell the berry. Put that on. I don't smell much berry in it, I'll be <laughs> honest. But we're just gonna bait this up the best I can. Hopefully, you know, don't smell your fingers at this. Feels it honestly feels just like play-doh. Which it honestly may be. I don't know. There we go. We're gonna throw it in here. It says it's catfish and carp bait. The only carp we have in here is Tommy, and he's a sucker about four inches long, so we probably won't catch him. Here we go, first cast. I'm gonna cast it in here, but then if we actually get one, I'm gonna let Adam right there behind the camera reel it in and, you know, catch the fish. Now we just sit here and, you know, wait. But while we're waiting, okay, let me show you something that is dropping for 2017 December, okay? So like, I went through a lot to get this. I ain't gonna lie, people. Pop sockets, baby. We got pop sockets. Here's what I'm gonna do. But instead of just sound like a pop socket, you know, just by itself, I've created what I call the pop socket care pack. In the pop socket care package, you want get a pop socket, which if you don't know what a pop socket is, it goes on the back of your phone and it's sort of like a phone grip, see? You can do it like that, especially with like the six pluses and the bigger phones. That way you don't have to like use two hands and get all over another good thing with the pop sockets and honestly one of my favorite parts is that you can use it as a phone stand and watch youtube because i know you watch youtube because you are right now whoa, whoa 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 we just had one we just had a bite but wait there's more we just got a random cat walk i thought she's gonna pronounce on something i did too i'm gonna watch this cat here she goes here she goes here she goes she got it did you get it, what is it? i don't know i think she found some did you get it young one did you get it? I don't think she did. Aw, it's okay. You don't have to get something to ever, okay. But not only in the care package do you get a pop socket, but you also get one of these little bands right here. On this band right here, right here front and center, it has the KG logo. Then once you turn it on the back, it says hashtag Jesus and hashtag Grey Gang on it. So in the care package, one, you get a pop socket. Two, you get the bracelet but that's not all you get right here. Okay, so you also get two waterproof stickers. Not just stickers anymore, folks, but waterproof stickers. If you wanna wait till the end of the video to, you know, go buy one of these, I, don't worry guys, I'll remind you, finish the video and I'll remind, you to, I'll remind you to go pick one up, you know, at the end of the video after everything's done. But what I'm about to say right now is honestly like, my favorite part about the whole like December project, a percentage of the proceeds for the entire month of December goes to, you know how we done like the breast cancer awareness things in like October? Well, we're doing it again, except, you know, not breast cancer. Since Christmas is in December, we're gonna do something, you know, sort Sort of oriented in Christmas. And what we're going to do is it's called Toys for Tops. So during the entire month of December, a percentage of the proceeds on anything on the whole thing, not just the care package with, you know, the bracelet and the pop socket. You could buy this. You could buy the buggy shirt. You could buy the short sleeve shirt. It doesn't matter. A percentage of all the proceeds, everything on the website, it goes straight to the Toys for Tots charity. But if right now you're not exactly familiar of what Toys for Tots is, what it is, is it is a charity and organization to get pe kids Christmas presents that, you know, usually don't get Christmas presents. So during the month of December, whenever you buy from kindlegrade1.com slash shop, you're actually helping kids in need, which can even be the same age as you. So just keep in mind that through the whole month of December, whenever you order something from kindlegrade1.com slash shop, that you're actually helping people sort of, you know, just... Uh-oh. <laughs> We're eating good today, boys. We're eating good today. You got one? Yeah, got one. We oh, baby. He ain't much of a fighter, was he? Oh. <laughs> okay, boys. 
<laughs> oh, I soaked you, didn't I? Yeah. I brought him right up on you. But anyways, here we go. We got the catfish. We got call Mammy. Calling Mammy right here. We made an agreement with Mammy. I said, Mammy, if I call you and say I got one, get the grease popping. Here we go. Hello? Hey. Yeah. I got one. Uh, how big is it? He's a big one. He's probably about 87 pounds. Uh, he is. All right, well, we're going to get him, uh, you know, slicing and dicing. And... All right, we're going to get him cooked up. Okay, bye. Okay guys, so we caught the fish. We killed it off camera oh, though, sorry. but now we got it, you know, ready to skin. Now the way you skin a catfish is, well first let me tell you that most fish, you know, you scale and you either fillet. Catfish are quite a bit different. You can actually skin them like, well, an animal, like a squirrel or something. The reason is because like they don't have scales, okay? They have straight up skin and you'll see exactly what I mean by that later. But a really good way to skin a catfish is one, nail his head to a board and you know, First thing we're going to do is start cutting around the head here and you know then we're going to grip the skin and pull it down. First thing we're going to do though is you know start cutting the skin. A pretty tough skin. Yeah he's got they got really tough skin. There we go though. Good sharp knife always helps. And you can get right up under that skin and if you do get it right up under that skin like the battle's won with trying to cut the skin because once you get up under it and just cut it and like I said earlier a really sharp knife helps. Okay so now we got a little bit of flap of skin showing. That's what we wanted. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to grab my pliers right here. And this is why I originally nailed him to the board. I didn't nail him to the board, you know, just to be like nailing fish to boards or anything. I nailed him to the board. That way I'll have some resistance for whenever I pull the skin off like I'm doing right now. There we go. And now we just pull it, skin it, just like a just like a squirrel. Mm, we got meat already. Yeah, it's good meat right there. But like I said, you know, mm, you just grab the meat, that. pull it off. That is the beauty of catfish. You skin them. You don't flesh them. You don't fillet them. But you skin them. Just pull the meat off and you're good to go. That's a big slab. Yeah, it's a good slab. That's what I'm saying. Catfish are so good because all you got to do is skin them and boom, you got slabs everywhere. What do you call this? The fillet? Yeah, and then and then what you'll do is you'll actually fillet that right there. Just like a normal fish. All right, so now at this point, now that we're done skinning it and everything, we're going to fillet it just like everything else. Except now we, it's just going to be pure meat right there. Just coming right down through here. Catfish fillets. Fresh too. That's about as fresh as it can get. We went out there after school. We caught a catfish and Mamie's going to cook it today. Like that's as fresh as fresh gets. So you got to get the bones off that now? No. See, it's boneless because we filleted it. There's no bones in the catfish? Uh, Not like, not this. Not like There's no though? bones in that piece of catfish You need meat. to clean it though. That's good meat right there. Okay, so as of right now, I'm going to go ahead and fillet the other side of this catfish. And whenever we take it in there to Mamie, we'll catch back up with you. Okay, guys, so I'm like a little late on this, but you know, Mamie's done cooked them. Oh, yeah. It's already fogging up the camera there. Okay, people, it is done. Here we go, Adam. Take the first bite. It's very hot, isn't it? Uh-huh. What do you reckon about it? It's good. Better it's than the bluegill. Better than the bluegill we cooked? Oh, yeah. Now, Adam was a little skeptical about this because it looked exactly the same as our bluegill did. Because, you know, if you've not saw that video, instead of using cornmeal, we used cornstarch, which is apparently a big difference, but we didn't know. We went straight to the pond. We threw her bait in. We caught the fish. We skinned it. We filleted it. We came in here. Mammy cooked it, and we're eating it. Like, this was all in a span of two hours. Here we go, guys. A little catch up to cool it down. Here we go. It is really good, and also very, very hot. Me and Adam's going to devour this, and I'll get back with y'all in about, you know, right now. Okay, great gang, right now, it is time for the verse of the week. If you're not familiar with this, it's like, you know, every Saturday, I do a verse of the week from the Bible, just so you know, it may help somebody in their week. This week's verse of the week is from 2 Corinthians 12, 7. Therefore, in order to keep me from becoming conceited, I was given a thorn in my flesh, a messenger of Satan, to torment me. Now, before we dive any farther into the verse, first we have to know, you know, what conceited means. Now, what conceited means, by Google, says excessively proud of oneself. So, basically, if we want to just, you know, sum it up, we can just say that conceited is not a good thing. In the verse, it says, in order to keep me from becoming conceited, I was given a thorn. Thorn. Now, if we wanted to, you know, put this into an example and put it into like 21st century terms, he could also say, in order to keep me from getting in a car wreck, 
I was put behind an old slow man in a minivan. That's basically, honestly, what it's saying. God is watching over you at all times, and he wants the best for you. And what's best for you may not be the best in your eyes. Now, that's important right there. In all reality, what's best for you may not be what you want or what you think is the best for you. God is only trying to help us. And what we may now see as a burden is actually a blessing in the long term. That's deep, bro. That's deep right there. <laughs> so let's say at school, maybe you're like in a really hard class and you're struggling with it. To you, that looks awful and you know, it's like, bro, why? Why am I in this class? It's not even fun. But in all reality, that hard class now is gonna make life in the future easier. And that's how God acts in our life every single day. We may see it as just some random thing that's bad to happen to us, like a slow guy in a car. In reality, that that's God watching over us in small things that we think is bad is actually good. So, you know, if something bad, ha bad happens to you, don't get upset. It's all according to the plan. Everything happens for a reason. Just stay patient and everything will work itself out. But anyways, people, you know, stay good out there. And like I said earlier, I said I'd remind you guys. So if you'd like to go get a pop socket care package, comes with the pop socket, the bracelet, and two underwater, well, waterproof stickers, that is. All that right there comes in the care package. There is a limited supply, you know, once we run out of them, they're sort of gone. But anyways, if you want them, kindlegrade1.com slash shop. And besides that... I'll see you later. Signing you out on the- If you're not part of the Grey Gang, go ahead and subscribe by hitting the button on the top right, and feel free to watch some of my past videos on the left. As always, favorite squad, post it up, down low. If you want some of this sweet merch, head on over to kennelgrey1.com or the link in the description. But besides that, I'll catch you later in tomorrow's video.